Good morning and happy Monday. Have two words of the week for us. The first one is resilience. Now I'm not talking about the ability to overcome adversity. By the way, the Oilers, the Edmonton Oilers have shown incredible resilience in that they have overcome a three game deficit and now you got game seven tonight and who knows, maybe they might bring Canada back the Stanley Cup for the first time in like 31, 32 years. That would be the epitome of resilience. But I'm actually not talking about the first definition of resilience. I'm talking about the second, which is your ability, which is our ability here at Prior Lake Spinal Care to get your spine to maximally come back towards normal after being bent, stretched, or compressed. Remember, the spine is not a column, so when it goes out, it doesn't go out like a stack of blocks. It actually unravels. Um, and it usually, anything that unravels, like a rope, is going to unravel relative to one of the ends. And in the human spine, it typically does so from the top. Why? Because structurally, it's the weakest link. Neurologically, it's the most important. Your body's gonna protect and decompress, dissipate the tension from the most important areas. And then third, anatomically, it's very unusual. And so we have to have a count of all the joint shapes and therefore we can give a nice specific, ultimately specific adjustment, spinal adjustment, designed to do what? Get the pressure off your nerves so that you can heal, which brings us to our second word of the week, which is integration. Now, the second definition of integration is really interesting. It's the coordination of mental processes into a normal, effective personality or with the environment. So isn't that amazing? When you drive by, and I know they're doing great work, but when you drive by what's called an integrative health center or an integrative wellness center, what do they mean by that word, integrative? They usually mean that it's several health professionals under one roof trying to get various different results, whether it's weight loss or pain control, uh, diagnostics, vitamin infusions, and maybe a chiropractic adjustment or maybe massage or acupuncture. But based on this definition, I ask, is integration an outside-in phenomenon or is it an inside out, or as we like to say, an above down inside out phenomenon. And the great thing about our less is more approach is that when we see changes taking place all the way down the entire spine, the resetting of the postural muscles that go all the way down into the pelvis and therefore getting an instantaneous change in the leg length, the physiological leg length, from working at the top of the spine, then necessarily other areas of the brain are working better. Just like a light switch with flip certain light switches and it can turn on one, two, three, four or more lights depending on how the electrician wired it in the first place. Well, it just so happens that the wiring that we are dealing with is also connected not just to the tone of the postural muscles going down the spine, but also the critical thinking part of the brain, the hippocampus, our body's neurohormonal support center, which is the hypothalamus, sleep and energy mainly, as well as our amygdala, which has everything to do with handling stress and adapting appropriately. So those integrative factors of the mind, the various mental processes are our ability to reason, intuit, perceive reality correctly in real time, our ability to tap into our own willpower, our ability to imagine, and our ability to call on our memory at will. And it's the coordination of all of those mental processes that is integration. So integration, an above down inside out process, thanks to the resilience in your spine. How can you apply these two words this week for maximal benefit and efficiency this week. Have a wonderful week and thanks for watching. Prior Lake Spinal Care, the greatest show on earth.